Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today, we're gonna do something crafty, something different from what I used to do in my channel. We're gonna reverse tie-dye. Okay, so you'd want to start with a damp black shirt. It can be any colored shirt you want. You can reverse tie-dye with any colored shirt you want, but I prefer black because of the drastically different result that I can get with it. So here I'm starting to spiral it because I want to make it into a spiral pattern. So right here I'm just making sure that the spiral looks good. I'm making sure that the pleats are uniform in sizes. There I'm making sure that it's well folded so nothing looks weird when it comes out from the bleach. After that, you would want to secure your design with rubber bands. Make sure they are thick, that could fit into your shirt design or your folded shirt. Just like that. And then you can actually use other things to secure it with, like you know, thread or yarns or other strings, as long as you're comfortable with it. But for me, I am more comfortable with um, with rubber bands. Next thing is add some water in a pail, just enough to make your shirt sink in or soak in, and then add. Zonrox original or any thin bleach that could um, whiten or lighten a fabric. Letting your shirt soak into the chlorine solution, take it out and let it sit for about 30 minutes up to an hour until you see some discoloration on the shirt. That means that the bleach solution is working. Did reverse tie dye on other black shirts of mine it's just that it didn't really discolor like i wanted to like this one didn't really like turn that orange or turn that red after soaking it into the bleach and this one's just looking very muddy very brown i think it just depends on the quality and the um kind of fabric that your shirt has my shirt the one in this video that i showed you earlier was a thinner shirt like it had a thinner fabric compared to the other two that i am showing you right now in minutes i was already able to get this result this very orangey and black color it's really nice but i'm not quite satisfied with how orange it is so the next step i made a dye solution i added hot water into a dye onto a dye and i just mixed it shook it really well to make sure that the dye powder is well dissolved just went tam and poured my dye solution into my shirt and before i did this i made sure that there are no excess chlorine i wrung it out pretty well so that it won't wear off in the dye for a couple of minutes and voila this is the final result let me know guys if you're interested in seeing more of these videos and that's it i hope you enjoyed i'll see you guys next time